Christos Anesti. Uh, happy Easter uh, to you all. Uh, wanted to reach out and just to thank you. I wanted to thank you for all the work that you've done. Uh, the, I know that you work hard every Holy Week and Easter, and every year I try and say uh, how grateful I am and to reflect back to you the gratitude of your people. But this year it seemed uh, especially so, and navigating your communities and your congregations through uh, the work of uh, online presence. Uh, and uh, I wanted to say that I see you and I see how hard that you have uh, worked, that uh, you really have uh, leaned into this and seen uh, that uh, seen to it that you have given your very best to the effort. And as I reflected uh, last night on uh, the ordination vows that we all take, I'm, I'm aware that you have undertaken that with uh, great intentionality uh, and that uh, you have uh, gathered your leadership around you and all of you have uh, sought to do your very best to provide a pastoral, theological, and spiritual presence in the midst of worship. You've adapted your uh, ways of leading, but you've also adapted your sermons to provide deep care for your people. Some of the best examples of stewardship and calling people uh, and online presence is all found here in the Diocese of Texas from my vantage point. And um, uh, I'm grateful for that work, uh, for that work of excellence of trying to really, uh, in the midst of a very complicated situation, offer up to the glory of God our very best. And I think you, the people of the diocese, the clergy of the diocese have, have done that well. Next week, we need to begin to think about uh, a few things. We need to think about the pastoral burden that we have. We need to consider uh, a phased approach uh, to our uh, reentry into worship and life and service and ministry. Uh, and uh, we're looking at how we can support you with lots of resources uh, to do that work. Uh, but let that be next week. Let that be next week. Uh, this is Easter. And I want to invite you to uh, celebrate uh, the accomplishments that you have achieved uh, with God and with your people over this last month. Uh, let us take a moment as we come to the end of this week and Saturday and Sunday. And as you're writing your own sermons, let us take a moment to celebrate the risen Christ in our homes, in our lives, amidst our family and our friends, even if at a distance. Let us pause uh, in true Sabbath uh, and give thanks to God what God is doing in the midst of this. Because if we will pause and do that work together and truly uh, share the gratitude we have for one another, uh, I think then we can see how some of the work that we're doing now online and through virtual worship, our phone calling and connection, our pastoral connections with people, that it, if we'll take some time to see, we may be able to begin to see what kinds of good work we've done and that we would want to continue to do as uh, we move into our future uh, together. Uh, I commit to you uh, to do the same uh, and to think about how we as your diocese can continue to support you through this. Uh, we have a way to go. Uh, you know that. I know that. But just know that your bishop, uh, your regional bishops, your diocesan staff and canons, all of us are so grateful for you and for your people and the work that you have done. Uh, it was a glorious Easter, even if it was really weird and not at all what we imagined. It was glorious and God was worshiped. Praise was duly given to God for the great works that God is even now doing and uh, the work of resurrection and of life and light giving uh, in Texas and in the whole world. And so for that, uh, I say to you, Happy Easter.